Hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here today with part two of our little t uh, Total War Rome 2 video thingy. Gameplay, let's play, series. M Baba, whatever they call it. Anyway, what's important here is uh, what we last left off. Lepidus had charged in from uh, northern Spain and taken over Nabo, and uh, basically that's the situation we're faced with. Terrifyingly enough, I don't quite have... I haven't mustered all my troops in the particular area, so it could be a threat. Also, we have the continuing threat of invasion from the north, and even Mark Antony's, as you can see. Oh, and look at it. Here comes Lepidus taking over our city. Uh, we don't even have the troops to fight it, so we're just going to auto-resolve it and hope we can magically win the battle. Nope. We lost. In a very brutal fashion, of course. <laughs> oh, God. You suck, Lepidus. You suck. Uh, anyway. Uh-oh. It looks like the Bell Jay have come in from the north for Trevorum. Uh, Trevorium, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna need to raise an army, definitely. Definitely. I didn't want to have to do this, but... Uh, that's a threat that I am not ready to face. I'm really not. So, we're gonna go ahead and bring out the uh, veteran legionnaires rather than the Legatus. Because uh, I need staying power rather than um, uh, DPS in this case. Let's go ahead and try to scare them off, too, by recruiting a mercenary army and upgrading it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're not feeling now so brave now, are you, Bell J? That's right. You stay in your borders! You bastards coming up in here thinking you own the place. I am Rome! Anyway. Jagovia. Yeah, a little bit of this. I wish I had more money. One of my biggest problems right now is the, a lack of money. Especially the fact that I need to recruit more units. And, oh. It's just not a good place to be in. Not at all. Not at all. Well, let's go ahead and recruit some first cohorts since they're a lot better than just regular legionnaires. And, yeah, let's throw in some cavalry as well. All right, so now we actually have troops on the border. We've moved Octavian and uh, as well as another legion closer to Telosa. And our troops in Bertagola by next turn will actually be able to attack. Yes, yeah, sweet victory is on the horizon, comrades. I think what I want to do as well is I'm going to go ahead and secure a promotion for Octavian. Uh, what that basically does is you get a little uh, passive bonus, as you can see, minus 2% upkeep to all land units, plus 3% tax rate, and plus 1 gravitas per turn. So that's definitely going to assist us. Another problem that has arisen this turn, however, is that Mark Antony has brought a gigantic army right off our borders. This is terrifying. <laughs> Very terrifying, to say the least, and I'm not 100% sure how we're going to deal with it. But, needless to say, we're going to find a way. Yes, yes we are. I wonder if this guy could have any effect on them. So I decided instead of trying to do something else, I just need to raise an army. I need to do it quick. And I, yep, I need to pick Publius here because he only uh, loses me a little bit of influence by raising him. And I think with this particular army that will actually raise a Legatus rather than the Legionnaires. Just because the Legatus might have a major, uh, that mobility effect might mean something a little later. And let's go ahead and recruit some more legionnaires. And let's throw in a Vigilis for, uh, for good measure. I'm even going to bring my navy a little bit closer as well. Just so they might be able to, if, if the battle happens near um, uh, the coastline, the navy might be able to assist me uh, if fighting for Rome. Hopefully it does not come to this and that I'm just being over precautious. In the meantime, Octavius, forward into Nabo! Well, maybe not yet. Let's go ahead and bring up the secondary general first, just to make sure he's backed up. I wouldn't want to be uh, be uh, surrounded by my enemy in a, in a vast wasteland of snow. Yeah, ambushes are never a good thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm sending in the troops from Bertagala as well. I think we're going to go for Tolosa first. Um, but at the same time, I might, might just wait for the next turn, because it doesn't look like it would be a good idea to attack right now. I don't know if they have any guys hiding in the uh, the forest around these two cities, so that could end up being a very bad thing for me if they do. A new day, a new dawn. The Tolosa brothers, we will reconquer. 
Yes, for sweet Rome. We will be united. Octavian. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of excited. Soda, caffeine, it's a delicious thing. Mountain Dew especially. This is not an ad campaign, I promise. I just really like soda. Well, clearly we won that battle. No trouble at all. No trouble at all. So Telosa has been reconquered from its brutal captors. And now... I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a warrior improvement. Yes, yes. Give him, give him a little bit more damage as a warrior. Warrior is always a good one to go with. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think it's time to move upon Nabo to reconquer what was lost to Lepidus, that sick leprosy-filled beast. Yes, yes. Move forward, Octavian. You're going to support your ally here. All right, all right. Alright, it's the first and the second legion. Attack Nabo. And clearly we won. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We have a massive advantage. Stab in the foot and stab in the shoulder. You like that, don't you, bitch? <laughs> Nabo has been reconquered! Now that Nabo has been reconquered, we have moved Octavian uh, to the south of it to protect the road there to make sure that we don't get... Uh, attacked by the devious Lepidus. Yes, 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 right. Uh, I think I'll do a meeting place to go ahead and upgrade this. I want to try to rebuild this particular region since it's been conquered by enemies. But I'm so broke. I'm so ludicrously broke, it hurts. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see, what should I upgrade him as? I think I'll do commander for him. Get him some of that, like, that morale boost, I think, is uh, what commander will do. Uh, let's see. Eh, yeah, it increases his area of influence, so on. Whatever. All right, so that worked out nicely. Uh, and as you can see, we've got Octavian down here. And we need to go back to Rome, where we are needed. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, our new army has been raised right outside the city walls. Mostly legionnaires and a group of Vigilis. It's not big. And here Mark Antony's army is. Terrifying as it is. Can I do any type of subversion? Slow him down, maybe? Is that possible? Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. That costs money. I have no money. I guess I'll just move him over here a little bit. Keep him doing with the military further nonsense. Anyway. Uh, I think he's going to attack uh, Beneventum first, which would be kind of disturbing uh, if he is. But then again, he might go straight for Rome. All right, so it is now a new day. Uh, we've got consecrated ground in Rome. Good. That helped put the opinion up. But as we can see, he did bypass Beneventum. And again, I don't know if he's actually going to attack, but I don't think I can... Uh, risk, risk not attacking him. Now. I just, I, I don't know. Um, Rome might be able to hold. It is a huge city with huge walls and a huge garrison supported by a lot of guys. But I have a huge advantage if I attack him now. Uh, I think my garrison should get involved in the fight and hopefully my boats will too. And this might be the best time to attack him to maximize damage. I think we need to do it. Let's do it. Oh, wow. They've got a lot of allies. I guess I don't care, though, do I? <laughs> I'm coming for you! Oh, yeah! Look at that! The garrisons are here! So we get an additional 3,000 troops to assist in our battle. We've clearly got the advantage. 